Hey y'all, it's me, Christy, with Tea Dottles. It's been a minute, hadn't it? Well, this is the preview for March's Mini Mini Maker Bag Club. Um, plus, I got a couple of updates. So, first, let's say, welcome new subscribers. Welcome back, subscribers. I'm happy to have you here with me in my maker shenanigans. I do like to do the fabric the sewing things, <laughs> the yarny things, and the DIY things. So you will see a little bit of all of that here on this channel. I do consider this a maker channel. So if you like to make things, you might like it here. So what's up with my hat? I could, I usually would probably wear it more like this, but I can't see good. So I had it up like that. But this is my outside hat for gardening and this is cutting the grass and stuff. So has to do with the theme of the mini mini maker bag club this mini mini maker club this i started to say semester y'all oh well, school's got me all crazy <laughs> this semester it has taken so much of my energy um which is why i haven't done a video in a while also i haven't done a video in a while because my internet it issues with it for a month now and I think it's finally worked out but we're not gonna say that too loud okay so <laughs> I couldn't upload videos which is why I hadn't done any videos and I've been working on the club plus it's the quarterly club goes out which I haven't quite finished if you signed up for the quarterly maker club I'm hoping to start shipping those out this weekend by the Saturday but it may be Monday okay but I'm, I, I'm still working on them. They just both came together. And I thought I had planned it better. But apparently I didn't. So I am sorry about that. So I'm also still working on the patchwork uh, zipper pouches for last year's Mini Maker Club. Okay. So if anybody had any questions about that. I'm still working on those things. It's just me. It's a one woman show here. Okay. I'm getting it done though um so i want to say those things before we jump in and, and see what the bags is although some people have already received theirs that was really fast y'all because i sent out about 40 saturday and the other 25 monday and some people already had theirs monday <laughs> so that was pretty fast it's because some of my other stuff seems to be taking forever that's coming to me. So, anyway, I'll talk about some of that. I'm going to do a podcast later on this week, so I'll talk about some of that coming up. So, if you don't want to see what you're getting and you haven't gotten it, gotten it haven't received it yet, <laughs> now is the time to stop watching the video, okay? I'll put a timestamp up there, okay? So this month's theme for the Mini Mini Maker Club was spring in your step. Because spring, the first day of spring was Sunday. Is that correct? I think so. So spring is this time. We've been having spring here in South Georgia for a little while. The pollen is everywhere. Everything is a neon yellow, a lovely chartreuse. Because uh, there's pollen all over it. I mean, it's ridiculous. <laughs> The pollen is crazy this year. It is just crazy. Um, anyway, this time of year always gets me into thinking about gardening and being outside and doing activities outside. But gardening would be number one and the birds and the bees. That's why I have my hat on. This is what I do when it gets hot and uh, I put it on. Although I usually pull my hair back. So I'm trying to let my hair grow out. Y'all, it's got to get to a stage where I can put it in a ponytail before it gets too much hotter because I'm not going to be able to stand it. It's like a carpet on my neck. So, we'll see if we can make it. Alright. I'm going to take this hat off because I'm finding it distracting just looking in the camera. I have a lovely hat tear. So, just let me flip it out some. <laughs> anyway. So, so, I was thinking about spring and everything when I put this, uh, the maker bag together for this month um so let's just take a look okay first we have the bag which i love um 
So, I found this lo fun little print. It's all these cats doing little things outdoors, fighting with the water hose, getting wet. And they all just look completely disinterested in what's happening around them. And they're just kind of like, meh, spring. I just thought it was so funny. Uh, and of course, there's bees on here and everything. Um, I just really loved this print for spring. So, that's why I picked it. And your top will either be this golden yellow slubbed cotton or there was an orange version that was about the color of this cat here. Which I almost thought when I put it, I was like, that kind of looks fallish. But it just matched the colors to me in the print so well. So, eh. So, inside, you have bees. Busy, busy bees. This pretty bee print. And I did a velvet ribbon for the tab this month. Now, this thing, I don't... It did not always get caught when I did my seam up here, so some of them are sticking straight up like this. This one's still trying to stick up, even though it got caught in the seam. If you hang something on it, it'll it'll still hang down. So, <laughs> I don't, it just didn't want to do right. So, but I just liked the little velvet. It kind of reminds me of the... I know bees are not actually velvet, but they kind of look velvety, right, on their little tummies. So... <laughs> That's where I was going with that. So this is the bag. Cute little cat print. I don't have any cats. I have dogs. But um, I do like cats. I just don't think my dogs would like the cats. <laughs> so <laughs> Next. Um, do I want to do the yarn next? Or do I want to do? I'm going to save the yarn for last. I think. I like it. No. Let's, let's go ahead and do the yarn. So the yarn, it has little labels this month. Look at it, it's so pretty. Oh, look at it. Yay. Um, so the name of this yarn is Be Happy. Like the bumblebee, Be Happy. Um, so what we're doing now is when the, the yarn is from Southern Skeins Yarn. Uh, she's doing the yarn for the club this year. It is, uh, this is her, uh, Southern Sock Yarn. So, it's 75% Superwash Merino and 25% Nylon. This is a workhorse type yarn. And bees are workhorses of nature, right? So, I just thought, uh, it was a perfect yarn pick. for Because I'm doing different fibers each month. So, that was a perfect yarn pick for this month. And she, I will send her pictures of the fabric I ordered she will dye uh, the, the yarn based on what she sees, um, how she wants to to match the fabric. And then when I see it, I get to name it. So this is called Be Happy. <laughs> it just made me happy when I saw it. I love all those sparkles of color. It's like a burst of spring on the yarn. So pretty. And y'all, something I forgot to say at the beginning. I'll have to put it in the show notes. Um, if you're looking for the pattern, I haven't put it up yet because i got to finish it, okay? The pattern is coming. Mindful Mandala is what we're making um, that you could hang up or something. Uh, and I just haven't finished the pattern. I haven't had a chance to finish it yet. But it is coming. I'm going to put a note on the website too in progress or something like that, okay? So the, the, the pattern is coming. I, I just haven't finished it yet. It's taking me a little bit longer because this is thinner yarn and it's a little more complicated pattern than the other ones. I think I'm going to have to take pictures as I go along. And the other ones were really simple patterns. The other two ones I did. This is a little more complicated. So, it is coming. I just haven't finished it yet. Sorry. So, let's take a look at our T and our stitch markers this month. So, for the T, I picked this Puka Turmeric Active T. Um, an invigorating blend of the finest turmeric, ginger, and galangal. I'm not really sure what galangal is, but uh, I thought this would be perfect for all those outside activities you may or may not be doing if you love the planting or not. Uh, it's a little boost, it's a little kick. This is definitely, well, it says it's caffeine free. Well, that seems kind of strange naturally caffeine free and ethically sourced 
so it's still caffeine free so i don't know what it's supposed to give you energy but it is <laughs> i didn't even notice that until i just read the back of that anywho so for our stitch markers on the lobster clasp this month i put this pretty little a honeycomb charm with a little gold bee on it now this was supposed to be a connector which is what has this other loop here but I just loved it so much I just that's like this is perfect so <laughs> um, and that's the one I put on the lobster clasp and on the lever, round lever back this month I, this is once I got these, I didn't think this looks, you, you, you tell me what you think. This is supposed to be a hummingbird. I think his beak, it's, I think it's because his beak is just way thicker, but it's supposed to be a hummingbird. I think his face looks a little odd <laughs> after I got him, you know, you can see him up close, but sometimes you're like, uh, but uh, this is a little hummingbird. Uh, I love hummingbirds. I'm hoping to get some at my feeder this year. I haven't seen them. I saw some last year in the yard a couple of times so i'm hoping that i'll get some more to come back as i put a feeder out i plan on putting more out so anywho if i can get this i don't know what i did but okay so those are our stitch markers or charms and tea and extras this month are uh i got y'all a little stick of honey um i did put these in little baggies because i was trying to make sure i didn't i didn't think these would come open but i just was giving it some extra protection so i put them in little baggies maybe you can use the baggie for something else i don't know you could put it in your tea but the bees feed us so then i got wildflower seeds to feed the bees so um, i'm hoping everybody will be able to plant these somewhere uh, to grow some wildflowers for your bees um and this came from american meadows um go to the it has the website on the back and go there and find out more about it and planting it um one of those planting instructions at the top up here just they're very small you see me looking because i can't find my reading glasses <laughs> i don't know where i put them at <laughs> i've been looking for those things i'm gonna have to get another pair i have no idea where stuck i'm at but anyway um so yeah i thought this would be fun to plant I, you can probably plant this in a pot maybe yeah it says you can put it in pots if you can't if you don't have a yard to put it in so uh yeah we're gonna feed the bees because they feed us honey yeah and they pollinate so that is everything yeah so we got our little seeds and we got some honey and our stitch markers and tea oh and then we got our yarn and bag yay Maybe if the bugs and pollen aren't too bad where you are, you can set out on the porch or something and make your little mandala while when I get the pattern up. <laughs> while watching your plants grow and drinking your tea. I don't know. We'll see. Sounds nice to me. Uh, it, it's Well, it's not too bad today. It's overcast today. Yesterday it was really warm. And uh, over the weekend, it was really cool. <laughs> it got really cool and windy. <laughs> I always have a cold snap before Easter. But usually it's a frost, so I'm not sure if that was the last one or if we're going to have another one. So, I don't know. We'll see. Um, but it's been up in the upper 80s before that. So, you know, it's, it's hot here already. So, yeah, these are so cute. I love this little print. Look at them cats. <laughs> Their faces is just like, uh, nature. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, that's it for this month's club. I hope y'all enjoy it. Um, um, like I said, if you are in the Maker Quarterly, they will go out before the end of March, okay? I was hoping they'd go out about the same time as this, but I didn't get done with them. Um, still working on some things. And, but they will be going out, okay? So don't don't think I have forgotten about you because I have not. Um, and then next month's club is is it full? I, I, 
Well, I don't know yet until everybody sends their stuff. I think I have... I may have about four spots of this to put in the shop. But I've got to check some things to be sure I didn't miss somebody accidentally. But I'm pretty sure I have four uh, that didn't do it for the month. So, uh, yeah. I will put those in the shop. Although I have some people that have messaged me on Instagram. So, <laughs> they may or may not make, make it in the shop. I try to be fair to everybody, but I can't keep up with everything. So, uh, I'll probably just put them in the shop if, if there's any left. And then you just have to grab them if you really want one. Um, so, for April, I won't know until everybody pays their, uh, what do you call it, invoice on PayPal. I give them to a certain amount of time to pay. Uh, you know, you just get that extended time if you pay through PayPal. So, yeah. <sighs> I should have brought my water in here, y'all. It's been a while since I talked to y'all. I really miss y'all. But, provided my internet stays working, I will have a podcast coming out so we can catch up on some things, okay? Uh, yeah. Y'all be sure to... Well, we've got about a week left in the month. So, you can get your cozy murder mystery uh, cow thing in and your... Uh, stash down thing in my two groups there's the group for link below i don't even know why i said that this is not about that i will talk about it in my uh podcast that i do in a couple of days because i can't do another video right i'm kind of tired y'all so <laughs> it's up though while i'm rambling i'm just tired so <sighs> i'm not gonna yawn i'm not gonna yawn i almost did I'm going to let y'all go, um, and I will talk to y'all later. Y'all remember to have a life lived creatively. Bye!